Tonight, the investigation continues into a deadly crash in Midlothian. Good evening and thanks for joining us for 8 News at 6. I'm Roland Wilson. It happened on the intersection of Brander Mill Parkway and Barn Spring Road around midnight. 8 News reporter Victoria Lucas joins us in our digital center now. And Victoria, I know you went to the scene earlier today. What did you learn? Roland, we still have limited details, but it is an unfortunate situation with the passenger pronounced dead at the scene. Limited details from police right now, as I just said, but we know there were others in the car who made it out alive. I was just sitting there watching ESPN and I heard a loud bang and I thought it was either like an HVAC exploded or a car accident or thunder and then my dog started freaking out. Corey Ambers thought right. A deadly crash around midnight happened right in front of his house. Then I heard sirens that came out here and just saw about 20 firefighters, five cops, cops all the way down the road. And then I could see the car up in the woods and saw they were trying to use some sort of equipment, trying to get the door open. And it was just, it was a scene like I have never seen before. Chesterfield police say it happened just before 1215. The driver of a 2016 Chevrolet Impala was driving north before it went off the road and hit a tree. You can see tread marks along the side of Brander Mill Parkway leading to the tree that was hit. A piece of the bark ripped off and what looks to be a windshield and side mirror around it showing some type of impact occurred. The neighbor tells me with the speed limit being 30 miles an hour, he doesn't understand how the crash could have caused this much of an impact. But Amber's adds last night's rain could have played a factor. If you're not used to the road and you just lose track of what you're doing, it's going off and hitting brakes too slow with wet mud like it's it could happen, but it's it's pretty tight, if, especially if someone was coming on head. It's it gets narrow right there. The police are still investigating and haven't released any identities or how many people were in the car or the cause of the crash. We're told with it being the holiday weekend, we may receive an update come early next week. Live in the Digital Center, Victoria Lucas, 8 News.